My name is Dean Epstein, and I'm a retired music librarian from the University of Chicago. This morning, when I saw the Moroccan musicians take their instruments out of the bag, they looked kind of familiar to me. And I reached into my bag and took out a picture that had been made in Jamaica in the 17th century and showed it to them. And they said, those are our instruments. Those pictures had been engraved for Sir Hans Sloan, who was the physician to the royal governor of Jamaica from 1687 to 1689. When he went back to England, he wrote a natural history of Jamaica, which was mainly about the plants and animals and shells. But he included pictures of instruments that were played by the African slaves in Jamaica at that time. Sir Hans Sloan described the instruments that were etched in this way, that is, he described one of them. He said it was made of small gourds fitted with necks, strung with horse hairs, tied longer or shorter as they would alter their sounds. He called this instrument a strum strum, but most people in Jamaica, in Martinique, and on mainland North America called it either banja, banza, or banjo. And the uh, results of their performance carried on through the music we heard later this morning.